Good afternoon. This is a short presentation about uh, uh, the e-poster. The title of uh, this contribution is Use of Sentinel-1 SAR data for change detection analysis in a seismic region. Uh, this is a short summary. Uh, so, uh, in this study, we will uh, um, discuss the enhanced capabilities of Sentinel 1 SAR system to perform change detection analysis. We would like to point out that change detection uh, is a, a common practice nowadays uh, um, based on remotely sensed data for the generation of damage maps uh, on both on local and global scale. After after a natural hazard. Typically, this is done by analyzing exclusively the amplitude of the uh, calibrated SAR images. More efforts have been realized, have been performed for using also coherence information. So, using the um, maps of coherence to obtain additional uh, information from uh, the observed scene and understand and if an area has effectively been uh, changed after a specific phenomenon or uh, not. Uh, we have used uh, a set of uh, uh, 12 SAR images acquired by the Sentinel-1 SAR system related to the area of Durazzo that was hit by um, an earthquake on, uh, at the end of uh, 2019. This is the area uh, hit by the earthquake and in particular the epicenter area. Starting from the knowledge of the uh, area, we have selected uh, on uh, uh, she up the uh, set of uh, um, available Sentinel-1 images. This is a, this slide uh, show uh, the distribution of Sentinel-1 footprints related to the area. Because our goal is to understand that to quantify the uh, role of coherence change detection, we have generated uh, a given number of uh, interferograms. This, in particular, co-seismic interferogram between November. December uh, 2019 and the related uh, coherence mass. The aim of this uh, investigation is to identify the uh, distributed targets and to do this we have partially modified the coherence change detection method recently proposed uh, in the paper that is mentioned uh, here. The original work uh, relies on a maximum likelihood estimator uh, requiring the knowledge of the full coherence matrix. Uh, in other words, the knowledge of the entire possible set of coherence interferograms of coherence maps and the related interferograms. We have done some experiments to understand if uh, also a reduced number of interferograms, so uh, not the, the knowledge of the complete full coherence matrix, but also a portion of the coherence matrix can be uh, uh, usable, can be suitable to obtain uh, uh, change detection maps. We have done some preliminary experiments and uh, in this slide we have uh, summarized very shortly uh, the um, areas that were uh, using our approach uh, more uh, significantly affected by um, changes uh, during the uh, um, period, pe period of analysis that is, that is between uh, June uh, 2019 to uh, January 2020. Um, so, by concluding, uh, we have uh, uh, proposed a uh, um, method to um, analyze the, the areas subjected to changes and we have discussed the implication of using a reduced set of uh, interferograms for performing uh, these uh, uh, coherence change detection analysis. Additional information can be done uh, during the uh, presentation of the e-poster uh, the day of the, of the conference, so on uh, June uh, the 1st. Thank you for uh, the attention and see you at the conference.